G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and this is the Artist Showcase video series. First of all, before we get on, I'd like to welcome our new influx of subscribers from Dota Cinema who uh, have joined us recently. I will, as a bit of a thank you to our new Dota Cinema subscribers, do another Dota speed painting sometime this week or next week. So this is a series of videos in particular where once a week I look at artwork that has been sent to me by the community on this channel and uh, once a week I feature uh, some of those that impress me or are interesting or have shown a lot of improvement and out of those I pick one of them every week to be featured on the front page of newgrounds.com to get a bit more exposure so it's a bit of a sharing process bit of a bit of a fun thing too as well for me to be able to see people's progress and it's really enjoyable so jumping straight into it the first piece we have is by artist axon 94 is called floating isle this picture shows a lot of improvement from this artist's previous work and in uh and of itself is a pretty impressive piece that shows a lot of imagination and a clear understanding of shape and shadow and uh, colour so I think that is a, a good one to share. Next by artist Mr Herbal is a piece called Peekaboo which like his other artworks is really interesting and unique and, and it kind of has this sort of shading style and uh, kind of composition that uses space really well and uses detail in a way that isn't sporadic or random uh, or clustered but adds to the images focus which uh, this artist in particular is quite good at so if you're impressed by this work go check out his other stuff as well. Next by artist Tyler Hart is a piece called Greater Greater Mind and it's a surreal sort of canvas piece and it's really cool I like how the uh, many many different colored lines come together to create the overall image and you really got to kind of look at this image and zoom into uh, how the overall color look has been created from all those different colored lines and it's it's really impressive I, I think it, it's just a really different sort of cool thing to look at. I get a lot of pictures that are sent to me which are a similar sort of thing. It's like a hero in a hero pose, uh, but I always like getting something a bit different and this is one of those things where I saw it and I just liked it. So thought I'd share that with you. Next by artist K-Mao is called Style and Color Study 3. And like I say, I've been sent a lot of pictures that are a hero in a hero's pose, but this is one of those ones which is just really, really well done. A lot of very clear understanding of proportion and uh, shape character in this character's expression, the uh, just everything about this picture. I also have to kind of sh shout out a bit of an apology to this artist where uh, I finally got through all of the things sent to me and have the next several uh, videos prepared uh, and planned but uh, this was one where I, f I realized that there were a few unread messages and weeks and weeks and weeks back this was one that was sent to me that I didn't see at all and so huge apologies and I'm so sorry it took so long to get this one out but I really want to show you this now now that I've seen it it's really impressive so absolutely check out the rest of K-Mail's work because it's all of this standard and really good stuff. Next by artist Alagaz is a piece called Remorse. It's really simplistic in its composition and very clear to understand what it is, but in its simplicity conveys a really nice aesthetic. And uh, the, the goal of this artist was to convey uh, as much emotion as possible with as little paint really used as possible, which was pretty effective. I think that that deserves a bit of a thumbs up. So good job with that one. Next by artist Shkomi is called Borderland Psycho. It's a picture that we've seen before uh, it's kind of been replicated in pencil but because it was replicated so well and this artist uh, has a lot of art artwork that they show clear understanding in um, the conveying of form and replicating of that shadow and and figure I just thought it was worth sharing because it's really well done there are a lot of people who can kind of copy an image and make it look good but this is one of those cases where it was just done really well and they've got other images that do that as well so I just thought I'd share that with you Next by artist Frissy Boy is a piece entitled Fire Mage and I wanted to share this because it's really clear to me that this person challenged themselves uh, by the nature of the pose, the amount of effects that were being used, the lighting and uh, like it's very clear to me that this person was not afraid of shying away from trying new things and being ambitious and I always respect that so congratulations and you've done a really good job Frissy Boy. Next by artist The Dominion Studios is a piece entitled Overlord Cheeseling, which uh, I feel like comes across as a bit of a cheesy sort of movie poster thing, which I think is the goal. And uh, yeah, it looks good. The overall composition is quite simple and straightforward. You get hit immediately with effect of what they're trying to communicate and uh, the character's form and figure and expression is strong and the shading and color 
work well together as well. So good job with that one. Next by artist Askion Kataskion is a piece entitled Demon Smoke. Uh, further proof that I'm a sucker for skulls and will probably in every future video feature something to do with a skull because I just reckon they look cool. But I mean, that's not the only requirement. The, I guess the requirement is that they be expressed in a cool way. And this is just one of those ones where it's just done well. The line work in particular with this picture is just what captures it for me. Uh, it kind of has that sort of decayed bone feel to it just through the line work alone, regardless of what was being drawn. But the fact that it works so well with the skull was easily worth showing off. Next by artist Sloth Swag is a piece entitled German Soldier, a really nicely drawn piece. We've featured uh, something else from this artist in the past and uh, I can see improvement in the shading and in the expression uh, and smoothness of that, that tone of the, the uh, shading and, and pencil work there. So I think that was worth showing off as well. And the last piece for the showcase video and our feature of the week is by artist Ola Klapaka and it's called Dragon. And this shows just, I mean, you have to zoom in just to see it, but aside from the fact that the overall aesthetic is really strong, fantastic use of shade and, and just like lighting color works together really well but the amount of detail and the individually drawn scales on this dragon the richness and uh, visceral look of that fire and smoke coming out of this dragon's mouth an overall really impressive piece well worth a Newgrounds front page feature so thank you for sharing that with us so ladies and gentlemen that brings our simple showcase video to an end this week I apologize if I've been kind of hard to understand or a bit less animated than usual I have a bit of a cold but uh, that aside thank you for joining me and until next time I'll see you later. Do you want me to review your artwork and have a chance to be in a future showcase video? Upload your artwork to newgrounds.com. You can send me a link by going to jazza.newgrounds.com and click send a private message. Make sure to include the word showcase in capital letters in the message title and give me a link to your piece of art. Please be considerate of my time and understand I have a lot to get through, so please only send me one image and not a whole gallery, and make sure that it's on newgrounds.com. Thanks for checking out this showcase. I look forward to seeing your art in the future.